this is Solomon seal, Polygonatum hybridum, which is a really good plant if you've got a little bit of light shade with these sort of slightly drooping stems and then these hanging white flowers, little green tip to them. What you would not believe, looking at it now, being all sort of so spring-like and peaceful, is that within the next couple of weeks, this plant is going to be the site of some scenes of horror and gore, the like of which you would not believe. And the reason for that is this little black fly. That is the uh, Polygonatum sawfly, and what it's doing, hovering around there, is it is using its saw-like laying parts, to put it as delicately as possible, to cut a slit in the stem and to lay some eggs in there. And those eggs will soon hatch into these. These are the grubs of the uh, sawfly. They're not caterpillars, they're actual sawfly larvae, I guess is the best way to put it. And what they're going to do is that they're going to devour this entire plant over the next couple of weeks. It's one of those sort of uh, things where you really have to be quite relaxed about it because in order to stop this happening, you have to either get hold of the flies, which is quite tricky, or else you have to take every single one of these grubs off and chuck them away. And there are times in the life of a gardener when really the best thing to do is to sit back and, and realise that we are not as clever as we think we are and nature is much smarter. And this is one of those processes which is sort of strangely fascinating in a sort of horror filmy, gory way. Watch it happen. Your plant will be exfoliated, but it will survive. The uh, grubs will drop off and will pupate in the ground and will hatch again next spring and the whole thing will happen again. And, and our job really is just to watch it happen, be relaxed, and don't get yourself in a fuss.